Hello. Hi. Am I audible? Good evening, everyone. Am I audible? Good evening to you, sir. All right. Good evening to you, sir. Very good evening. We can hear. Great. I was just testing. To make sure that my video is OK, my voice is OK, and you guys are able to hear me clearly. <clears throat> yeah, we are hearing you very well, yeah. All right. Come to me. We are hearing you yeah. clear. Good evening, the voice is still perfect. Has the class started? Hi, good evening. Uh, yeah. We are still we are still waiting for uh, Juanis. I think very shortly okay. it will be starting. Yeah. All right, Doc.
Hi, good evening, one and all. Uh, we will be starting. We will be starting a brief intro about the session and all. So, as this is going to be the first session for all of us, so may I request you guys to switch on your camera, if possible. That will be easy for us to understand each other, know each other, and then also that will be good for our engagement and interaction in future. David, Martin, Method, and Peter. Are you guys able to hear me clearly? Yeah. Yes, Doc, you are very clear. OK. So will it be OK in case you guys can switch on your camera? Yeah. Thanks, David. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for Thank switching you, on. Right. Yeah. How about Martin? Hi, Martin. Can you, can you please switch on your camera if possible? Hi, Peter. How are you? Yes, yeah, David. Yeah. Well, how are you, Martin? Yes. Great. Nice. And how about your marker? What shall I call you? Mathoach or Makar? What shall I call you? Mathoach M. Yeah, Martin. All right. All right, guys. And this is quite evening. I understand that it's evening for you guys as well. Um, right. What time? What What is the time at your place? Right now. Right now is six, six o'clock. OK, so it's quite evening and at my place it's 940, 940. All right. All right, guys, so just a brief introduction. I can understand that Peter is having a medical shop. Peter is running a medical shop or a pharmacy shop. Yeah. Uh, it's a pharmacy, yeah. Pharmacy, all right. And what is that, David? What David? Uh, what is David doing? David Martin he is a district inspector of schools. Oh, great, great. Sure. And how about Martin? Yeah, I'm just working with the LGO. All right. And Macker? Hello. All right. I think it's yeah, I think it's time that we should start. We will start. I'll I'll share you my slide and then we'll keep discussing about few things and then we'll have some interactive sessions. We'll try to understand since today is the overview, so we will not be going much in detail about the topic, but overall overview about it, right? So let me ask you. Can we think for our life without Internet in today's world? Doing well, how is it? All right. Yeah. Is there any possibility that we can think for our life without Internet in today's world? Yes or no, guys? OK, I'm I understand. I said like, can we think for our life without Internet? Yes. 
Mm -hmm. In today's world, in current scenario, where most of us start our day with internet and ends our day with internet. Am I correct? Yeah, you are right, 100%. Mm -hmm. Right, that's where I was saying, can we think for our life without internet, right? So it's very difficult in today's world that we we may not be able to continue our day without internet. I'm like, if I will ask you, what is the first thing that you do when you woke up in the morning? First thing, what you do? Like in my, my case, I always right. uh, check my watch. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then I go, uh, I, visit, I visit the internet to check some updates, like news and so on. That's how I start my very day. Very true. Yeah, very true, very true. And how about others? That's what, that's what Roser has said, right? How about others? I want it to be a participative discussion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Martin, please. It's yeah, open discussion. Yeah. It's open discussion. Yeah, okay. In my case, actually, in the morning, I do wake up and I can also check on my email first. Later on, I go to my WhatsApp. Lastly, right. I go to Facebook. Yeah, right. TikTok. That's where I can do my. Sometimes, in, during work times, we have uh, also to send through WhatsApp and we share using internet. Because it is very difficult to just work while without internet. It is very hard or has at this time. At least if we talk uh, some years back as well, but we can just do things manually. But right now, or currently, we are really using internet much. Right. So thank what you. I believe, what what I believe. Thank you very much for for your uh, for your answer. Uh, whether all of you agree that we start our day with the internet, that means to say the moment we woke up, we, we check our mobile and then try to see if there is any notification available on our mobile, be it WhatsApp, be it Facebook or Instagram or any social media platform that you choose, right? So I think most of you will agree that our day, most of it, it starts with internet, right? And what is the last thing that we do when we are going for when we are going to sleep? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, Peter, please. The last the last thing I myself personally do when I'm going to sleep, because I am married, I have to check on my children. Then number two, I have to pray for them and myself and my work. Then I go to sleep. Great. And before that, what I normally try to say is like, yeah, Peter, you said it uh, right about all these things. But as an as a normal practice, before we go, at least uh, we 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 set our alarm on mobile, or we try to see if there is further any notification or something like that. I'm I'm mostly talking about myself that this is how it goes. I understand that everyone has their different thing, but most of the things why I'm talking all these things. Our day starts with digital platform, that means to say internet. Our day ends with some, sometimes our day ends with that. That means to say more or less our life has been influenced by digital platforms or social media in such a way that it starts and ends. That means to say our life is more or less available on digital platform, right? Yeah, actually, uh, internet is useful. If you look at the, the the learning we are doing without internet, it would have not been possible for you <laughs> to be able to lecture to us and us to be able to get the lessons. Yeah, very true. So what I'm trying to say is like more or less we are our our 24 hours of life. If we look at very very minutely, if we if we look it look into it. It is it is more engaged with it is more engaged with digital digital platforms and we are influenced by digital digital platforms or internet in such a way there are most of the activities are connected or based on internet right I'm like 
if we talk about we talk about lot of utility bills to be paid if say we we are talking mm -hmm. about utility bills to be paid or we are talking about any 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 uh, our day to day for example electricity bill for example our, our college fees for example all these things right slowly and slowly it is more getting digital when we talk about accepting payment i'm like slowly and slowly we, uh, things are going uh, in a direction where people are transferring money online using internet banking or other sources when we talk about taking admissions or learning new things or talking about the policies and all more or less we are talking about digitally influenced platform i'm like days are gone where if we say that you and we have to carry books or notebooks and then we will be doing studies probably days are gone right so keeping that in mind we are we are going to talk about the the way that internet has influenced slowly and slowly what is happening in current days that you talk about a school i'm like i normally say it in a funny way that you talk about starting your early uh, early stage of your career that is passing out of school you are you are going to check your 10th grade or or high school results on internet if you have to apply for colleges you or undergraduate colleges you are applying it for in, uh, through internet if you are trying to apply you completed your course and you are trying to search for uh, uh, search for jobs you go to online platform and look for look for various job openings which are available if you are if you are planning to get married probably yes you also go to online platform where you search for your partner if you try to if you after after marriage if you try to buy your house probably again we look for that if we try to go for insurance probably we have to book insurance through online i'm like slowly and slowly you start about you you talk about the start of a life where our life starts until the time we go there are a lot of development that has happened in recent past lot of developed countries in even in my country also birth certificate from online platform even death certificate you have to apply through online platform right so what i'm trying to say is like more or less our whole life is getting right from school to college to job to house to insurance or even later probably it is more and more, more and more in and around internet that's what we are revolving towards so what i'm trying to say is like it has influenced our life a lot and that's where we need to look into what is the importance of internet or what is the importance of e that is electronic electronic means especially when we are trying to do business if we talk about if we talk about three components primarily you can see most of us or our life are influenced by social media local when we say local that mean to say we are more or less trying to look into local resources which are available either it's available in the local language or it is available locally nearby you and more or less uh, we use mobile a lot so overall if we see there are three components which has influenced us that is social media locally we try to connect with the local business using mobile platform now let's understand about few few interesting factors right interesting facts about digital platform it's about can anyone say or guess about number of internet users added per second any guess come again number of internet users getting added per second we are already in thousands okay in thousands okay and number of websites are launched each days that mean to say number of new websites getting created every day any idea maybe hundreds maybe 100 okay and you know there are there is there there is a platform called amazon and every country has their regional platforms in amazon like in india it's amazon.in in us it's amazon.com likewise in other countries they have their regional sales right they they actually uh, declare some big bang or uh, sales during year end or during some festival and all right so do you do you do you have any guess like 
what kind of sales that they are doing on one particular day on a big mega sale day or big bank sale day if amazon is declaring it any idea about what kind of transactions they could be doing data are going to surprise you guys believe me you guys will be surprised with the data that i'll that i'll provide right humongous it's 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 we cannot think for probably it's much more than sometimes uh, sale or sale of a company right and any idea about facebook users are uploading how many new photographs so let's see almost 10 no, to 12. no no right so let's see about the first question number of new internet users added every second it's 10 to 12 new internet users added worldwide every second when we talk about new websites launch it's more than 200000 websites getting launched per day how many we said someone said about hundreds right but it's not in hundreds it's not in thousands it's hundred of hundred thousands when we talk about amazon did on a mega sale day it's much more than a million dollar sale in a one single day and facebook uploads 350 million new photographs so data wise if you see it's a huge that mean to say reach of digital platform and electronic business is huge we cannot think for what is the potential of digital business in today's scenario so these data are just to make you excited that there is a humongous opportunity which is lying on digital platform it's not to test anyone's knowledge it's just to keep you guys that hey there are more than what we normally think for now when we talk about electronic business or when we talk about digital business it is more about to make our consumers find us easily getting my point that means to say when consumer is in need of a product or service they could be easily able to trace because of electronic business because of e business or because of a business available on digital platform second good part is they can connect with you at any time they support you in bringing more revenues and building communities and they do business with you online so it's 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 just a few pointers that i have mentioned over here but it's not the trend it's a new way of doing business it's no more the trend it's a need of the hour and if someone is practicing business digitally they are the people who are going to survive in long run now let's talk about any kind of business we talk about whether he is a barber or a plumber or restaurant owner or jewelry maker massage therapist bakery or medical store everyone needs digital platform or digital model to get connected with their customers reason is customers are available mostly or spending most of their hours on digital platform can i ask you guys a question very simple question right uh why do you feel if a shop i'm like you are you are trying to take a shop on rent in a in a, in a very big shopping mall there is a very big shopping mall and you want to take a shop on rent the rental is very high whereas if you are trying to take a shop on rent in a street which is next door to you probably it's very less now why shopping mall big shopping mall or very very large commercial complex and very large commercial buildings have a huge rent for a same size of shop if you are renting it in a big shopping mall and if you are renting it at a street next to your shop next to your house probably there is a huge difference the reason is 
there is a huge footfall in shopping mall in comparison to the footfall which is there in the street next to you. When I say about footfalls, that means to say number of people visiting the store. So in a big, big bang, multiplex or multi shopping mall, multi layered shopping mall, thousands of people visit this visits the shopping mall every day. And there are thousands of people available at shopping mall on every minute if it is open. Whereas that will not be the case for a shop next door to you. That's where opportunity is. When most of the people, they spend a lot of hours on digital platform, that is one of the reason why all businesses have to think that they have to transform their traditional business into digital business or e-business, whether they are the barber, they are the therapist, they are the plumber, they are electrician. I'm talking about all small level shops or they are larger organizations. Everyone required themselves to be digitized, to digitize themselves and to upskill them for better opportunity. Now, why? What are the characteristics of e business? It's 24 by 7, 365 days, 365 days a week, a year. So it's open 24 by 7, 365 days. Even if it is, it is off because of any reason, your shop keeps running because it is a digital business. You are, you are running your business on digital platform. Second important point is you can target your customers directly based on their interest. You will be able to take instant actions. Say, for example, your, your, your customer want to purchase a product from your, uh, or I want to purchase a, a, a medicine from one store uh, from, um, from John's or from Peter's store. I want to purchase a medicine from Peter's store. I need not to go and ask him. I'll just see it, browse the online website or store and see it. I'll select the medicine, place the order and it will be it will be sent, right? Sometimes medicines are being sent in next few hours in few of the countries, especially our countries as well and other developed countries, right? You will be able to see that medicines being sent instantly within half an hour or 45 minutes or within one hour time at your doorstep, right? So there are a lot of things which are happening in and around, right? So keeping that in mind, we can actually work on. So choice of marketing medium, that means to say you can work, you can work on text, you can work on image, videos, social media, all these things, right? And you can have small budget to the large size of budget, budget that you can manage, that you can spend to, to market your business using uh, on e-business platform. So if you are doing your hello. campaigns, hello? Yeah, excuse me. Uh, yeah, please. I Go don't sir. understand on yeah, only twenty only first point. It's twenty-four Some... seven stroke or three sixty-five businesses. It right. means what? So it means that in twenty-four hours a day, seven days a week, and three sixty-five days a year. That means to say if you are having a website or a dig or e business, it is open every time it is open every time even if you are closing your shop but your business will keep running because it is digital it is available on digital platform oh it means the days yes it's for this right so 24 hours a day seven days a week and 365 days a year so all every day every moment it keeps running that's the opportunity of digital business e-business right and or, you can have yeah you can have you can have your own way even if you have a small budget you can you can make your digital presence even if you have larger budget still you can make a digital presence so digital presence or e business you can convert your business into electronic format based on your pocket size it's not that always you have to spend in thousands and thousands of dollars or you have to spend 100000 of amount to create electronic presence, it's not like that. There are various formats. We can start with this low level 
and we can reach up to a higher level. So that's what the beauty of electronic business. Let's understand. Right. right let's understand the typical difference between e-business and e-commerce. Right. Mostly, we understand that e-business and e-commerce. We try to uh, say that it's one of the same, whereas it's not actually one or the same. E-business is using digital platform or electronic platform you are actually digitalizing your presence means there you are putting up photographs you are putting up photographs of your product you are putting a description of the product detailing about it and you want someone to inquire about that pro product whereas in electronic commerce there has to be payment gateway that means to say receiving payment and then dispatch of product Whereas e-business is not about always about accepting payment. Say, for example, I have my website, right? Say, for example, uh, the university where you guys have enrolled yourself is having a website, right? And they have the course detail. So you can look for the course detail and send. You can also send an inquiry to the uh, to the website saying that you want to know more about this particular course. That is a one option. So that is also e-business. E Whereas if you are selecting a course and making a payment, that becomes e-commerce. So the moment there is a transaction of money that is involved, it's e-commerce. Otherwise, finding a finding a content, getting looking at the images, uh, inquiring for that particular product, it comes under e-business, right? So if you wow. add the flavor, if you add the flavor of uh, payment, it becomes e-commerce and it is from seller to individual buyer that means to say a buyer who even want to purchase one piece he can place order using e-commerce platform whereas e-business is about providing information is about interaction is about interacting with the chat on chat or any other means i'm sorry someone was asking some question i i continue please please let me let me know who was asking question martin you asked something Or Joseph. Yeah. All right. So let me let me continue. So e-business is the use of information and communication technologies to perform business functions, whereas e-commerce is exchange or buying or selling of goods and services by using electronic means. Now, why do we want to do business electronically? Because it reduces the cost of executive transactions, increases the speed of business, doing any business anytime, anywhere, reducing errors and improve quality. Not only these, it also helps you to collaborate with various suppliers. Right? It also helps you to collaborate with various suppliers. For example, Amazon is a platform where it's not Amazon who is selling a product or services on on Amazon. It's 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 all other like all other uh, sellers who are actually uh, want to sell their products on Amazon. They log into that particular platform. They update their products on this platform on Amazon. And then they sell it to all users who want to purchase it. That means to say, you will be given access with to many suppliers. You will be able to contact. Say, for example, I want to purchase, uh, what you say, I want to purchase a pen, right? I want to purchase a pen. Now, for that, I will search on Amazon and I'll be able to get 10, 20, 30, or 40 suppliers who are going to supply pen. That means to say, E electronic platform helps you to connect with many suppliers. And also it helps you to connect with many buyers, even if you don't know the buyer. Right. So it helps you to connect with various suppliers, synchronize production, and then services, services and customers. That means to say you, when customer is in need of product or services, 
you will be able to they will be able to reach you because they are searching at that moment on google they are searching at that moment on website or the e-commerce store and when they will see your product they will they will buy it from from you right so the beauty of electronic business is it reduces time it helps you to connect with various suppliers it is doing business anytime anywhere and anything that you will be able to do businesses right so that is how digital business uh, in electronic format actually helps industries to grow i'm not ask i'm not telling individuals to grow i'm saying industries to grow industry means hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of buyer and suppliers are there let's see there are various models by which we can do business on electronic platform when we say electronic platform that mean to say it could be it could be e-commerce it could be without e-commerce so first format is pure play that mean to say companies to popularize the web for b2c e-commerce when we say b2c it's a business to customers that mean to say pure format of electronic business is e-commerce means there are supplier there is a supplier selling products and there are buyer when if i choose a product add to cart make the payment i'll receive i'll receive the product maybe in few days next few days time it will be shipped to to our doorstep that is what e-commerce is when we talk about click and motor that is another business model so uh, i'm like after this slide i'll be i'll be explaining you what do we understand by term call uh, business model right so another format of business model is click and motor that mean to say you click and where customer can return uh, items easily that mean to say they will be capturing it and then collecting it or returning it to your counter so this is another format which we call it click and motor right that mean to say they buy it from your from your website but they may collect it from your shop or you if if you don't like it you can return the same thing to your to that particular stop shop then there are various other formats right so as i was saying a business model is a broader plan for what products or services a company plans to sell and how it plans to earn its revenue so if we talk about business model that mean to say a company has to decide which product or service he or she has to sell on digital platform and in return of that to get revenue right so that is a business model means there should be income that should be generated in exchange of product or services that will be sold the moment we say sold means you are offering you are getting a product or services and for that you are making a payment vice versa for for supplier supplier is going to get the payment first and then only he will be dispatching it so there is a safety mean to say there is a no ambiguity that there is a there is a uh, loss of payment first payment will be received then only products will be shipped and in case consumer didn't like the product he also have an opportunity to return it back to the company because of certain reasons so it carries various parameters way on which it can be returned back right but again in normal practice uh, every product cannot be returned because there are certain conditions which are also involved because we as a human we know how to how to manage it we will wear a, a we purchase a shirt we'll wear it for some time and then after that we'll return it so that is not applicable for various products for example you purchase a electrical bulb right electrical bulb and it got damaged you cannot return it you purchase under garments probably you cannot return it right so there are certain conditions certain conditions certain products that you can return certain something you cannot return it anyways we will discuss it more in detail uh, when we'll be discussing about more topics uh, in subsequent days right so what i was trying to say that a business model means in exchange of product or services a company has to sell certain product and services to earn its revenue 
there are various models we have been discussing about. Producer, mo producer model. Producer model is a manufacturer who manufactures or grow a product and sells it, and in return, they get revenue. Whereas distributor model, distributor model means you are not actually producing it. You are not actually manufacturing it. The way that Peter is having pharmacy store is not manufacturing any medicine. He's just distributing it. That means to say he's procuring it from the company and selling it to someone else. So there is a distribution network. For example, I have a mobile. I'm not and I have a store, mobile store. But the mobile store guy is not manufacturing mobile phone. He's actually buying it from some from a company and selling it to the individuals, right? So it's a distribution model, right? Likewise, automobile, likewise, you can talk about various things, right? So that will be a case of distribution model. Whereas aggregator model, aggregator model is something like Amazon. Amazon never manufacture. Amazon is not manufacturing any product or uh, is not creating any service. Amazon is an aggregator where, where suppliers are coming forward and they are putting up their uh, products on that platform. So all the platforms like e-commerce where you have multiple sellers available, we call it aggregator model. For example, any any you talk about any website who, which is selling airline tickets. So multiple airline operators are available on that particular platform and you can buy any ticket. It's an example of aggregator. Likewise, you are trying to book a hotel in a particular country. You want to go for vacation and you want to book a hotel, right? You will search for and you'll get 10, 20 or 30 hotel listings. So that kind of platform, we call it aggregator model, where means the platform is not making manufacturing or selling any product. It's only making others to sell their product on that particular platform. We call it aggregator model. Next is about advertisement revenue model. That means to say revenues are getting generated based on advertisement. Then marker market model. That means to say you have you have a product which is there and you are going for electronic auctions or B2B exchange. That means to say you are giving something and you are getting something. So there are various models. We are not going to talk on all these models today right now. We'll be discussing all these things during a course of time when we will go for multiple options, multiple things during uh, in subsequent weeks. So these are just to make sure that to make you guys understand that these are something which is there and these kind of ways by which we can make money, right? L last but not the least is about e-government. E-government is again where government is trying to sell products and services which are being manufactured by government institutions or government is creating a platform where more of a people, more of a manufacturers, they come on government platform and then can sell the product, right? So government is also procuring or purchasing products. So government can purchase these products from the manufacturers who are listed with government organizations and they can list sell their product to government or government can purchase it or government can sell the products to individuals as well, right? So this is again a very vast topic we will discuss because every country has their own e-governance e model where they are using electronic platform in various ways by to sell products that government want to promote, right? So there, for example, there is a tribe, there is a, there is a community who is making very beautiful product, but it is not getting marketed. So what government does, they procure those products and sell it on their platform, on their digital platform, and whatever the money that gets generated, they, they pay it back to the uh, grower or they pay it back to the artisans or they pay it back to the person who has actually manufactured or created that particular product, right? So we'll discuss all these things in more in detail, but for today, it's just about introduction. So next question to all of you is, is it worth learning e-business? Yeah, guys? Yes. Very, very much. 
Yeah, very much. Great. And do you feel that there is a humongous opportunity as a career as well? Not as a business owner. I'm talking about the career as well as the, as a business owner, right? So everyone who want to succeed in today's business, they have to transform their traditional business into digital or electronic business. I prominently used to say, if you want to be in business, if you are there in a Google, you are there in the business. If you're not in Google, you are not in a business. I normally used to say this, that means to say, if people can approach you and see you online, you are there to exist as a business. If they can't find you, probably you are going to vanish very shortly. That is what I say. I might be wrong, but what I feel in, in last so many years of my experience, what I have experienced that if you want to succeed in the market, you have to equip yourself with the digital technology, with electronic platform, use all digital platforms, whatever is available, and spread your words, spread about your business on all these platforms, whether we talk about Google. If you search something in Google, you find there is a Google map which is available, right? What is that? It gives you local business detail. If you want to shop something on online platform, it gives you a result of shop on Google with various options. That means to say, the moment you try to buy something, Google gives you options. So you have to be available on Google or Google My Business or in the search results of Google. Second is people search things on social media platform. So you have to be on social media platform. People search something on WhatsApp, or you say you talk about Instagram, or you talk about any other platform. It they 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 watch a lot of videos on YouTube for entertainment purpose, right? So if you are available on all these platforms, probably yes, you are doing it, right? So thing is, the opportunity is all these platforms are there for us, and it is quite much affordable. It is quite much affordable and doable. I say it DIY. DIY means do it yourself. If you equip yourself with few things, probably you'll be able to do it easily on your own. So as I said, in today's scenario, business is equal to electronic business. And if you want to be in the business, be in electronic business. That means to say electronic mode of business. I never mean electronic components, gadgets. I mean electronic format of business, right? So. I feel that's all for today for my side. So I just had a, given a, you a brief about what is e-business, what are the various models of e-business, what are the various opportunities of e-business, right? And what is difference between e-business and e-commerce, right? Just an overview because today was the first lecture about making you guys understand about uh, depth of the course and what are the things, various things that we'll be discussing about, right? Now, uh, let me know in case you have any question. I'm I'm okay to ask if you guys are if you are guys are willing to ask any kind of question related to this topic. I'm open to answer. You can ask any kind of questions related to this topic. You can you can ask about your business requirement as well. You can ask about your business need. You can ask about conceptual level of understanding about anything. Probably I'll be happy to answer that as well. I have not stressed it too much because today was the first day, but in subsequent days, whatever the pointers that I have mentioned, I'll be explaining all those pointers. For example, business model, various kinds of business model available on electronic in electronic platform or digital platform. It could be click and motor, or it could be e-commerce, or it could be advertising model, it could be revenue model, it could be distributor model, or it is sales model, whatever it is, right? Or producer-based model, or e-governance, e-government model. So we are going to have, we are going to discuss about all these models in detail in subsequent days, uh, in coming, in coming lectures, right?
So I know it's it's evening for you guys. We are left with few more minutes. I'm like seven more minutes are left for today's session, right? So uh, I'm sorry in case I I I took you guys a little faster. I'm sorry for that. In case I'm you guys are not able to understand uh, the the language that I'm using, please stop me then and there. Ask me then and there. I'll try I'll try to go a little slow and match so that match to the slang or or, or the other way so that you guys can understand it properly. Yeah, please, Peter. Yeah, I'm happy to uh, see your your hand. Yeah, please. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you very much, Doctor. And I would like just to appreciate uh, the lecture is very impressive. I'm very happy, and the 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 course is worth much learning for us. And I have now learned a new experience. The one that is last to be in business, you need to be in e-business. So uh, I am a son of a businessman, and okay. I'm also learning and to try to be also a businessman. So mm -hmm. I will little by little uh, adapt the system and put in practice what you have actually given to us today. May God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your nice words. Right. And uh, I believe others will also have uh, some opinion. Yeah, Peter, please, you raise your hand again. Is there something to say? Yeah, OK, so uh, I, would, I would appreciate in case I can hear something from others as well. Maybe David, Jibril, Joseph, Lagu, Match, Ojvi, Peter. Peter has already spoken tonics. Anyone else as well? Yes, Doc. David. Hello? Yes, David. Yeah, David, please tell yeah. me. Yes, me, uh, um, like Peter has just mentioned, you've been quite audible at a very good pace. We're very easy for people to understand. However, my, I just want to make a humble request that in the due course, as you'll be presenting, maybe one day we can have a practical on how to create some of this platform or how to begin an e-business so that maybe we can see how we can begin practicing some of these things. Sure, sure. So what I'll do, David, I'll pass on this request to the course coordinator as well so that they should they should have a proper session for this and then I can help you guys in terms of uh, creating some kind of platform or making uh, implementation of this, whatever we are learning. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you, David. Thank you for uh, your your kind request. Thank you very much. Yeah. How about so others? How, the, how about others? Gabriel, Joseph and all. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, I'm agreed with the, the people that I've talked about already, but uh, my request was already uh, asked for the people that are already asking about uh, the practical session about the e-business. Instead of that, we can uh, create understanding. Sure. Yeah. So Joseph, in case I can ask yeah. you, what do you do? I'm like, do you have any business background or you are a student or I'm like just to make sure that so that in future whenever I whenever I'm referring to I can give the realistic example because I come to know about Peter that he's having a, a medical store a pharmacy store so I can give some example related to that likewise in case I can understand about you as well it will be great help for me so that I can give a realistic example of that particular industry which you are from okay for me um, of course, I have a business. It's a small scale business. What I that is, I I learning about for this time. So what so what, what do you do? I'm, I'm like it's it's a small business that I understand. But what do you sell or what do you manufacture or what do you do in a small business? Yeah, it's for uh, agent for yeah they want tiny pumpers. Okay. Understood. So at least you are an agent for something. So I'll 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 keep that in mind. Yeah. Anyone else? Can anyone else also contribute? 
maybe lagu or martin right. yeah thank you joseph we'll take we'll take care of that we'll take care of that yeah. uh in social you will help us yeah very good lecture okay okay all right all right all right no problem okay so uh, though i wanted it's we are we are left with two more minutes for today's session though i wanted all of us to at least switch on our camera just for a minute and then we can switch off because anyway we are going to end the session uh it's a kind of recording for today's start right in case you guys can just switching on your camera for a minute and then we can end the session yeah so peter as usual peter is switching on his camera great i vote others david tonex lago joseph gabriel mark martin is it possible yeah i can see tonex as well yeah others please quickly quickly fast 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 yeah yeah so it's possible yeah yeah it's possible I'm yeah yeah busy. please please yeah yeah please 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 yeah. switch on yeah anyways so yeah so we have lagu hi lagu yeah nice to see yeah tonex is also trying to yeah hi tonex is very serious i don't know why is very hi, serious hi, hi, hi. Yeah. <laughs> maybe <laughs> the way that i'm i'm very right. very cold right how about you david can you please david joseph gabriel yeah who is coming lago is there joseph is there joseph yeah cool 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 great yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no worries no worries no worries i'm like we are we are sitting distant we are sitting distant far off places but yes we are connected and that's the beauty of digital that's the beauty of digital you know you guys yeah please gabriel please tell me mm -hmm. all right all right guys so it's time to end this session now and hope you guys enjoyed the session i'll make sure that whenever we will have a session uh, it will be worth for all of you and you will learn some insights about your business so next time when we will start we will discuss about okay. what business you carry and then based on that we will do a case study and outline so that you understand your business as well as this course e business and synchronize it and then we can have clear cut understanding about the opportunity that we are going to learn in e business right all right guys thank you for patiently listening me and uh, look forward to see you guys again right take care and have a wonderful so evening welcome, welcome. yeah so so welcome. Welcome. thank you bye bye thank you all right sir thank you